So to sum up, we've been talking about creational design patterns. These are patterns that we use to create new instances of objects whenever we want something done. And we talked about a few, the first one being the constructor pattern and the constructor pattern is what we use to create a new instance of an object. And typically with the constructor pattern, that's when we're gonna have a few of something. So in our examples, we use tasks. I wanted to create multiple tasks. And we talked about prototypes and, and how the prototype worked on JavaScript. We talked about the module pattern. The module pattern is when I wanna bundle a group of like things together and create just a bundle of methods. We used repositories as just a bundle of methods that we could use to interact with the database or an API or something like that. Talked about factories. We used repositories for our factories and we created a factory repository that would create these repositories for us so that we don't have to have all those repositories listed out in our requires on our main JavaScript. And the last is singletons. And we talked about how singletons work in the modern era for JavaScript in Angular and Node just so that we know that a lot of times we're dealing with singletons when we don't really even realize we're doing it. And so how to avoid that situation if we want to on the node side and understand the implications of dealing with singletons. Now that's creational design patterns. Now let's take a look at some other types of design patterns in the next module.